Hi everyone, welcome to the weekly guitar meeting at Zika's Guitars. I hope you are doing well and you are having a good time. Unfortunately, I couldn't be um, in the weekly guitar meetings episode of the last week, but the Jonathan and the Chico did a great job. And uh, unfortunately today, the Francisco cannot be in the weekly guitar meeting, but he will be back next week. So I'm going to do the weekly by myself and I'm very happy about this week's weekly guitar meeting because we are going to have a Romanios which is for me I don't know if I can say it's the best Romanios that I have ever played but this is on very very top of the lists we have also some very traditional sounding guitars and a double top guitar I would say let's start with the first guitar of this week the first guitar of this week is a double top guitar from Spain, which is actually not that common. Usually the Spanish guitar luthiers are building uh, traditional guitars, but this guitar is a double top guitar made by um, Julio Baslak Espinosa. This guitar um, is going to sound actually still traditional, but it will have the qualities of the of a double top guitar which is very impressive and it's a brand new guitar from 2024 it comes with a cedar top and indian rosewood back and sides i would say uh, let's see how it sounds My first impression is a very airy sound, a very airy and also the sustain of the guitar is really good. It doesn't stop and with the airy sound I mean that I can feel the whole guitar is resonating very well. at the same time a very bright tone even if it's a double top guitar It's an incredible easy guitar to play. It works so well in every position and also the guitar is responding very well. It's a very enjoyable guitar to play.
For a double top guitar, it has a very beautiful tone and also long sustain. Wow. And I hear also a very good clarity in the sound. Let me know what do you think and if you also hear a very good clarity and tone separation. Yeah, wow, it's a um, Julio Baslak Espinosa guitar, brand new from 2024. And uh, I'm very curious what you say about the sound of this guitar. And let's move to the next special one. This guitar is a Jose Luis Romanius guitar. It has a number 750 and this guitar is called La Pinionera. For me, I'm going to spoil something about this guitar. I have played this guitar before and it's one of the best Jose Luis Romanius guitars that I've ever played. Maybe two. it's the top three or even the best. And I just love this guitar. It's from 1996. It comes with a spruce top and Indian rosewood back and sides. And the main resonance of this guitar is very low. It's at between E and F. I won't talk a lot about this guitar. I will let the guitar speak for itself. The tone of this guitar is so beautiful that you want to stay on a tone for the whole life. It's like... It's actually confusing because you are so focused on the tone and somehow you cannot uh, focus on the music because the guitar is like... Um, I think you know what I mean. So because this guitar is so enjoyable to play, I will play one more piece on it.
The other amazing thing about this guitar is the tone separation. You can hear every tone and interval very clear. Wow. I mean, help me to describe the sound of this guitar. I'm done with this one. Jose Luis Romanios from 1966. And let's move to the next guitar. This beautiful and amazing looking guitar is made by Jalan Chen from China. And uh, he's a truly great guitar luthier, very talented. And this guitar is inspired by the original one uh, made by Andrea Taki. And this model is the Cochlea Tukea Fibonacci. And um, yeah, it's a very interesting guitar with a very beautiful design, very artistic, but also the sound of this guitar is going to impress you. I promise that. And we have um, a cedar, spruce and cedar top. So with three pieces and wenge back and sides. And this guitar has an elevated fingerboard, some very nice decorations in the rosette of the guitar and also in the, on the saddle of the guitar. And uh, also a other important thing about this guitar is that the scale is 64 centimeter. And for me personally, it's uh, much easier to play. Even if it's one centimeter difference in comparison to 65, um, centimeter scales for me it makes a huge difference and uh, yeah let's see how this guitar sounds So straight away from this, from the first chords that I played, I can hear a very soft tone covered with a lot of smoothness and overtones. Um, it's very pleasing to listen to. It's addictive somehow. And you have at the same time colors. And it's also a very loud guitar. So if you're looking for a powerful guitar with still that traditional sound colors, this guitar will offer you all these qualities.
very the guitar has also a very good long a very good long sustain a very long sustain Especially in the higher positions, it's incredible on this guitar. Wow, so it's going to be a lot of fun if you are playing some Tarega pieces with um, in slower tempos and you need the tones to, to last long and to, uh, to ring for a long time. And this guitar is going to offer you that. So it was a Jalan Chen guitar from 2024, Cochlea Tukea Fibonacci model. And um, yeah, let me know what you think about the sound of this guitar. And let's move to the next guitar. This guitar is made by the French guitar Luthier Bertrand Ligier. And um, I like his guitar a lot. They sound, yeah, very French, uh, very beautiful tone long sustain and very well balanced and he is building his guitars i wouldn't say based on a dominic field or Friedrich, uh, daniel friedrich guitars but um, it's very inspired by the french luthery school and this guitar is from 2018 and uh, it's in a nearly new condition and we have a spruce top and Indian rosewood back and sides. A very, very good build quality, very fine finishing. It looks very simple, but the sound isn't simple. Let's see how it sounds. This is a very high quality guitar. The sound, the color of the sound, or let's say the quality of the sound is very similar. It's very constant in every register of the guitar. So it's a very well balanced guitar and you have a lot of beautiful overtones, very soft tone. Very elegant, I would say. Wow, it's like a piano.
the same loudness. Also the trebles have the same intensity and uh, loudness as the basses and this is um, very rare I would say. It's a very lovely guitar to play. It's a Beton Ligier guitar from 2018. And uh, tell me if you are also uh, so impressed as me. <laughs> and uh, let's move to the last guitar of this week. And the last guitar of this week is made by the Spanish guitar luthier Juan Manuel Garcia Fernandez from Granada. So it's a Granada style guitar and uh, it has a number 211. It's a brand new guitar, traditionally built, very beautiful rosette, spruce top and very beautiful Madagascar rosewood back and sides. I won't talk a lot. Let's see how this guitar sounds. Spanish. You can hear straight away a very bright tone. It gives me somehow the vibes of that old recordings of uh, Segovia and Bream guitars with a very traditional tone. It's a very elastic sounding guitar. So the response of the guitar is very fast so it's very easy to play pieces with faster scales and um, faster changes of chords and um, yeah this guitar is not standing in your way and also very well balanced sound Very organic sound. Thank you. 
the last piece. tone and of course a very beautiful guitar as always let me know what do you think about the sound of these guitars and maybe you can give me a new way of describing the sound of the guitars because i'm always saying the same but on the other side a guitar has not endless tonal uh, characters i mean there is sustain there is balance colors, loudness, and dynamic, and that's it. And uh, also, let me know which guitar did you like the most in today's weekly guitar meeting. Thanks for watching, and have a nice weekend. See you next week.